Hi guys, James from DBG here and welcome to another video. Um, it's a showcase video of two parts of my latest job. First of all, apologies for the lack of video for best part of three weeks. Um, I've been busy doing what you're about to see. Uh, life has been busy throwing me lots of lovely curveballs, which is really nice of it. And obviously, if you didn't know, I work in retail and it is Christmas. And I absolutely detest this time of year. Words cannot put into meaning how much I hate this vile time of year. Um, but all in all, that means that I don't have enough time to do painting. Hello, that's my dog. I think he might need feeding. Oh, there you go. This is Dexter. That's Dexter. Right, so where was I? Yeah, so um, yeah, the time of year, life and extra. Um, so there has been a video for about three weeks. Um, so yeah, I've also, I've worked out how my phone was being stupid and taking really bad quality videos. I know this from what you may not see is not gonna be that good quality from this angle, but when I get closer, it should be. Um, but yeah, I've played around the settings and the quality should be much better. Um, I'm going to need to move my light around and I haven't got my tripod on. Um, so maybe a bit of wobble cam. Um, but we should be able to get quite close and have a look at what we have. So first of all, we have two beast grave. Um, warbands. We have the beast man one. We just have to say that the sculpts are very cool. It was quite a lot of fun painting these guys. There's an immense amount of details, both on the miniatures themselves and the bases. And the bases are really cool, as you'll see when we go to the um, the elves or Sylvaneth or whatever they are behind them. Um, the bases are very similar. So these ones have been corrupted. All the vegetation is dead. There's skulls everywhere. And the ones at the back are all... Um, very much alive and vibrant. So anyway, so that is the beast men. And over the back here, we have these half elves, half fawn. There's a stag centaur there, and as you can see, the bases are very vibrant. And then there's a little little panther, lion type thing there. Sorry, um, I wasn't sent the boxes, so I don't know the real names. So um, all, all the, these are lovely models, massive, immense amount of detail, hence why it's taken me quite a long time to do these. Now, let's go over here. At the back there, we have two ogres in 15 millimeter scale. It's for, um, okay, hang on, I need to go and check the box. Uh, one more time. Ah, it's for a game. Ooh, I do apologize. Such high standards here at DBG. Um, it's for a game called Time of Legends Joan of Arc. As I said, these are, so I get my light in, 15 millimeter ogres. Come on, focus for me, please. There we go. Uh, got a massive guy here with a mace and a shield that looks like it's made out of a portcullis or something. That's the way you can tell it's 15 millimeter by the skeleton inside the cage there. I'll go around the back. He has lots of knightly helms, a horse's head and a bull's head on the back. So yeah, he's 15 millimeter. And then this is an ogre shaman. Yeah, lots of lovely detail on these guys. And some whirly magic emanating from his back. And there's lots of skulls around his belt. And then these ones down here are just a top up of the 15 millimeter Vikings I was doing for this chap. So yeah. So join me in a sec guys and we'll have a look at um, the, well, the main part of the commission. Right guys, welcome back. And um, would you know it? The month after I sell my space walls, I guess Space Wars is part of the commission. Um, and just to um, 
clarify why I sold my Space Wolves. It wasn't because they were bad in a tournament setting. It wasn't a tournament army. It was because I got more enjoyment out of painting and converting and kitbashing them than I did actually playing them. And that could be something to do with the new Space Marine code that's coming out, making them slightly worse, or some other reasons. I just didn't enjoy playing them anymore. Not in a tournament setting, so that's why I sold them. Anyway, so what we have here. Loads of Space War stuff that I haven't actually painted before, such as the Wolfen at the back there, and the Thunderwolf Cavalry, the Bikers. But everything else I've already painted. So what we have is we have six Thunderwolf Cavalry, vast majority of them have thunder hammers let's go down focus there's one with a great axe a pair of wolf claws first one with a thunder hammer second one with a thunder hammer third one with a thunder hammer and finally last one with a thunder hammer these actually took far longer to paint than i was envisaging because there is an awful lot of detail on them. Not as much detail as there are on these guys. The Wolfen are absolutely chock full of masses and masses of detail. And I kept having to go back and missing, because I kept missing bits. But yeah, there's the Wolfen. Um, not, I know they're quite strong in the game, but I'm not a big fan of the models. If we go over here to the Long fangs, as you can see, they have Forge World Lance Cannon. You have the Pack Leader there with the Power Fist and Plasma Pistol. And the Wolf Guard Pack Leader in Tomato Armor with a Cyclone Missile Launcher, which is probably the best way to run it. That is quite a devastating anti tank unit there because Long Fangs can select a unit, I think it's the beginning of the shooting phase, and you get to reroll ones with that, so they don't really need. A captain nearby or wolf lord so they, they can pick a target and reroll ones then we have two units of five blood claws and these are the um, proper space wolf miniatures so again the level of detail on these guys absolutely immense and again i had to go back a number of times to pick out bits and bobs Then jump over here, we have a squadron of Swift Claws or Bikers, which are basically Blood Claws on bikes. There's one guy with a Power Fist. We have the Wolf Guard there with the Storm Shield and some sort of sheathed weapon, which is just down, yeah, down that side there. As you can see, I've put red and black pack markings for and to know who's a wolf leader, a um, wolf pack leader, and who is the normal guy. Then we've got these guys here, a squad of five grey hunters, all armed with bolters. There's a nice use of, I see I didn't build these, the client built them. There's a nice use of a scout's head there. And then last but not least, we have the characters. We have a wolf lord with storm bolter. A wolf claw, another wolf lord with a storm bolter, and a power sword. Try and move the light so you can actually see him. And then we have the wolf guard, the Primaris wolf guard battle leader, whatever the Primaris version of. This guy is that was the one that was originally in um, Tooth and Claw and is now in the Primaris Space Wolf Start Collecting Box. So yeah, there we go. That is what I've been working on for the past two and a half weeks or so while dealing with Focus. Camera. There's a good camera. Lovely. Yeah, well, life has been throwing massive curveballs at me left, right and centre. So yeah. Um... So yeah, we're almost at the end of the year. 
um, in, it's my birthday next week. Uh, which, you know, is quite convenient being so close to Christmas. But I have bought myself a birthday present and there'll be a video on that uh, when it arrives. Hopefully it'll arrive at the weekend. I'm not actually working this weekend, which is a miracle because I've been working most of the other ones. Um, so I can sit down, have a bottle of wine, crack open this birthday present and have, yeah, have some fun with it. So yeah, there'll be a video on that. And I also... Thanks to my, um, I had some eBay stuff do really, really, really well. So I got the Blood of Baal and the Blood Angels uh, Battle Force as well. Um, just as a little project to work on later on next year. I also got ben, the, the new Mephison model. So I might do a video on him. I'll, I'll definitely do a video on him. I wasn't going to do an unboxing, but there's no point because Chris had already put up um, the pictures of the model on the page and I far like to put them together and paint him and do a proper video on him when he's all painted and looking lovely. So next job is for all this lot to be carefully packed up, put back in a box and sent off to the client. Then sit down with a nice cup of tea and the new Blood of Bowl book and read about all the Blood Angel goodness. And then come up with a couple of army lists to use my new models. So yeah, as usual guys, do check the links in the description to all our affiliates and sponsors. Um, especially the Goblin Gaming one, which will, uh, I think, get you 15 or 20% off if you use the link. And also sends a little bit of love our way so we can buy some stuff. And get it on the channel for you. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.